And as you can see, it's about half or more of this nice big Pyrex bowl. That's a lot of meat. It's definitely more than my family can eat in one night. So set that aside. And here's what you'll need to make the breading. You'll need a baggie, a half teaspoon measure, half cup measure, some salt, pepper, and some flour. I use whole wheat flour because it's got the fiber and everything else, all the good nutrients. But the husk of the wheat hasn't been removed, as is the case with white flour. But you can use whatever kind of flour you want, I reckon. Let's get a half cup of flour. Put it in the baggie. Half teaspoon of salt. A couple little spills, it doesn't really matter. Just don't get it way too salty. And the reason I'm using a plastic baggie is because it's way easier to mix it this way. And then about a half teaspoon of the pepper if I can get to it. This should be fun to see on YouTube. Alright. I think that might be way too much pepper. We'll see. So there you go, it's all mixed up. That looks just fine to me. I'm going to spread it out on this plate here. And that should be plenty. Move this stuff out of the way. So here we got the fish. What are we going to do with it? Well, we need to make it into pieces of fish. So just kind of do like you would with hamburger a little bit. You don't need to do it too much. But what happens is this stuff actually, you know, when you cook a hamburger on the grill, it starts out kind of mushy and you have to patty it together. And then once you cook it on the grill, it gets firm. And that's just what this does. But it does it even when you fry it, as long as you make a little patty out of it. So just make some patties, like they're, you know, pieces of fish. It's probably like you'd see in a, a restaurant, or a fast food restaurant anyway, that serves fish sandwiches. And don't throw it down so hard, that's not productive. All right. We make these patties, and you might wet your hands every now and then and make them stick a little bit less. And I'd actually recommend making these a little bit smaller than I'm making. That's a really good size right there. Just lay it down in the flour. You can wait for some more to come along. And as you can see, I'm patting it like it's beef. And what that does is it helps all this stuff form up into one piece instead of being just, you know, gloppy stuff everywhere. So we're your hands. And then you just do it like any other fish. You don't even need on this stuff, you don't need eggs or any of that stuff. Just Put on some flour, put the salt and pepper in it, and once it's breaded, set it aside. You have a breaded piece of fish there, and it's going to be delicious. I'm going to fry it up like I would fry any other fish, and it's going to be yummy. Which, you know, up until the first time I ever fried any of this was about a week ago, I guess. It was really good. Up until that point, I wouldn't have known that you could fry it. But I figured, hey, I've already made some meatballs out of it. And when I, by the way, I used Tuscan garlic flavor when I made the patties, actually. And I grilled them. And it, it cooks up on the grill just like chicken. I mean, it, the texture is very different when you grill it than when you fry it. So let's do a couple more of these. 
And as you can see, it sticks a lot less once you get your hands a little moist. So just keep doing that. And just try to get the edges smoothed off so there's not a bunch of jagged pieces that are going to stick out when it's prime. A little square there. Now let's make some more. So it looks like I get a good two dinners at least out of this. Three dinners. Probably three. And making the smaller things like this, it's just going to make it easier to put, you know, several of them in the pan at once instead of having just a few big old pieces. And you can probably control their, the rate of cooking and everything just a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and bread these up. They're looking good delicious as you can see they stick together it's like they're little fillets Just sit them to the side And another thing I should add about this too is that if you like freshwater catfish, this is much less of a fishy flavor than a freshwater catfish. So if you eat freshwater catfish, you got no excuse not to try this. This is delicious. Very mild fish. And if you try it, I think you'll like it. I'm going to stop at nine patties for right now. And then I'll get back when I'm ready to fry them up. There we go. Got nine mock fillets of fish, breaded patties, basically. All right, and I got this much for later. It looks like I used about half of it, maybe. So yeah, I guess we should have probably gotten about 18, 18 nice sized patties out of it. And those weren't even very big lady fish. I mean, I've, I've gotten them much fatter than that. Thermometer, oil heating up to 350, and some salt. I like to salt that towel. I'm just using an old towel, by the way. That's the best thing for draining off fried seafood that I've found. French fries, whatever you cook. But uh, I salt that towel first before I put anything on it so it gets a little salt on both sides. And I check this to make sure it's at 350. It's not quite there yet. It's upside down. That's unfortunate. Sure, we can figure it out though. I actually might be getting there. Zooming up pretty quickly. Alright, so uh, basically we'll come back when that's heated up and it's ready to cook. Alright, so the oil has heated up to 350 degrees. Now we're going to start putting in some ladyfish, frying it up. And 
And if you don't get the oil hot enough, it's just gonna zap all the heat as soon as you throw those things in there. So, as you can see, they're frying up nicely. They're staying in the form of the little patties we made. It just looks like little fish boys. Although, in the shape of a square. I mean, come on. What are you gonna do, you know? You could form them into perfect little fish shapes if you wanted to. And we're just gonna let that go until they're golden brown. Take them over here to the salty old towel. And then we'll eat them up. Looks like they're just about ready to flip. So let's see if I can do this left handed. There we go. Ooh, got my camera there, I think. Flip it that way. And the way you'll know is that it'll just start turning a little golden brown. It shouldn't turn all the way brown. Oh, come on now. It shouldn't turn all the way brown at first. As you can see, it's just like the top little pieces that stick up a little bit brown. And you'll also feel, when you, if you, especially if you use a metal ladle like this, you'll feel it's a little bit of a, you know, scrappy against the ladle. It won't be soft anymore. Alright, so just a little bit longer and we'll be done. Alright, so I got another batch of them going and here's the ones that just came out. Let's break one of these open, see what it looks like inside. Look at that. It's just delicious white flaky fish. I'm going to take a bite. Delicious. Not fishy. It tastes really good. You should try it. Get your hand color already. Look at that. Delicious white flaky fish. Yum. Lady fish is pretty darn good. You should try it. Thank you for watching. Just had another batch of them come out. And I'll just show you another. I mean, look at this. Look at this. It's just so delicious. I wanted to film again because, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this fish. It is so good. It is not uh, soft and mushy like this at all. Once you form it into patties, it totally changes the texture. I'm telling you. If you cook it on the grill like I did, if you bake it in the oven and you just try to eat it, you know, like you would bake another fish or grill another fish, yes, it's going to be mushy. All the little muscle pieces are broken apart. And so it's mushy and because it's between all the bones. The bones like basically cut through it as you're taking off the, uh, the meat from the fish. But this way, it's firm, you know, it's not mushy at all. It's got a, a, a nice texture to it. Um, the taste is really good. I think you should definitely give it a try. Mmm. Yummy. That's some fresh Florida seafood from the Gulf of Mexico. And there's no reason not to give this a try. Alright, some more coming up now. Very good.